Hello, my name's Dr Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your gait, arms, legs and spine, a gal screen today. So before we go into that, could I confirm your name and date of birth? Uh, yeah, my name is David Rogerson, 16th to the 10th, 1992. Okay. So a gal screen, that's going to involve having you uh, walk up and down and us assessing you, having a look over your arms in terms of the power and the movement, getting you to take off your shirt and having a look at your spine, and also having you lie on the bed and do some movements with your legs. Is that okay? That's fine. Perfect. So to start off, I have three questions for you. Do you have any problems uh, with going up and down stairs? No. Okay. Do you have any problems getting dressed in the morning? No. Okay. Or do you have any pain or discomfort in any of your joints? No. Okay, perfect. So to start off with, if I could just start from the wall, walk at least five steps that way, turn and come back. Turn and come back. Does that look absolutely fine? So no obvious issues there. So we're now going to have a look at uh, your spine if that's okay. So if I could you take your shirt off please. And if you would stand with your hands by your sides, I'm just going to have a look um, at the positioning. So to start off at the top there, everything appears nice and balanced. And if you could turn to face the wall, please. Okay. Having a look at the side, we've got normal uh, curvature of the neck, normal thoracic spine, normal lumbar spine. And I can't see any issues behind the knee in terms of uh, the popliteal fossa. That's fine. And if you could turn to face away from me. Again, having a look at the back, there's no signs of scoliosis, scars, or any obvious deformities. Right, if you could turn back towards me. So we're going to start off now having a look over your spine now. So starting off with the head, so if you could turn all the way to face one side, and then the other, and then back to the centre, and chin on your chest, and then all the way back. That's fine. Tell me if you come across any problems when you're doing this. Put one ear to one shoulder, and then the same to the opposite side. Any difficulty with that? No. That's fine. So moving it further down, if you take one arm and reach down to get to a knee, that's fine, and come back up again. And the same again on the opposite side. Super. If you could take a seat on the bed for me. OK. And if you could put your arms up over your chest, and then turn all the way to one side, and then the other. Okay, that's fine. And return to centre. If you step back up again for me. And if you could slowly go down your knees to try and touch the floor, please. Okay, that seemed fine. And then come back up. So if you could turn to face the wall over here. So we're just going to have a look how your lumbar spine moves now. So I'm just going to get the tape measure. And I'm just going to put that there. And if you could bend forwards for me, as far as you can, and all the way back. Okay, that's fine. Super, thank you. Okay, return to centre. Right, we're going to have a look over your arms. So again, starting top to bottom, if you put your hands up behind your head, please. Okay, and then across your chest. Okay, and then put your arms like so. And then all the way down and out. That's fine. So if you put your arms up like so for me. Yeah. Okay, push me away. Okay, and then don't let me straighten your arms. That's fine. Arms up like so. Don't let me push them down. Now you push me down. Okay. Okay, so put your hands out straight for me. And turn your palms over and back down again. That's fine. So I'm just going to squeeze over your knuckles. Any pain or tenderness there? No. Okay. Don't let me push down. Don't let me push your fingers down. Okay, make a fist for me. Don't let me push down. You push me down. Down. Very return with your hands like so for me. Don't let me push you down. Don't let me push your thumbs down. That's fine. Squeeze my fingers tight as you can, try and break them, really go for it. That's fine and relax. And fingers to say, all the way around. Super, thank you. Don't let me pull through. Brilliant. So if you could jump up on the bed for me, we're going to have a look at how your legs are moving. And please lie back. Okay, so to start off, um, I can't see any obvious issues here. Now I just need to have a look at your kneecap. Okay, so just do a quick patella tap. So I'm going to squeeze up, press in. I'm pressing. That's fine. Okay. I'm just having a look at the base of your feet. There's no obvious calluses and things. And if you could take this knee up to your chin, please. And back down again. And similarly, this knee up to your chin. And back down again. Okay. Now I'm just going to do the same. So I'm going to lift up the leg. 
in and out. Same again. good. So squeezing over the base of the feet, no problems there. And I just want to push your, to, uh, push your toes up towards you and I'll push me away. That's fine. So if you could jump up for me. So we've had a look at your gait, we've had a look at your arms, we've had a look at your spine and we've had a look at your legs and we haven't found any issues. Do you have any questions for me about that? No, thank you. Okay, thank you very much.